What's life without a little color? Blue, gray, black, brown, pink, yellow, turquoise, white. An unusual spectrum for a gas that is literally colorless. Hydrogen, first element of the periodic table. A basic building block of the universe and a valuable resource for civilization. It's everywhere, really. Underground, in water, in natural gas and oil, in giant landfills, and cow farts. It's a popular element, and getting it on its own has always been a problem. Doing it the wrong way just leads to hurt feelings. And, um, tons of CO2 and greenhouse gases pumped into the air. Do it the right way, though, and we get green hydrogen. In the 1800s came electrolysis, using electricity to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. And in 1838, the fuel cell was developed, which did the reverse. Fast forward and fuel cells were being used in space shuttles. And today, it brings the promise of clean power to our roads and skies. There are many methods of producing hydrogen, each method classified as a different color. Steam methane reformation, partial oxidization of oil, coal gasification, and other stuff that oil companies may have made up. I'm reversing the polarity of my ultrasonic screwdriver's power source. But to get green hydrogen, there's really only one gold standard. Green hydrogen is completely different. It's made from 100% renewable electricity. Electrolysis powered by renewable energy. The problem is, this has always been rather expensive. Because it's not always about saving the planet. Sometimes you just need to show me the money! When I was first working in hydrogen in 2004, it was costing $1,000 per megawatt hour. 2010, 600. Today, 100. And we see it going down to 50 in five years' time and to going down to $25 per megawatt hour in the next 10 years or so. People are coming out with really, really high efficiency electrolyzers. Several of those companies actually mothballed these uh, low ca capital expenditure costs. Uh, high efficiency technologies. And so those electrolyzer uh, technologies are coming off of the shelves now, are being developed and brought to commercialization faster and faster. What is new is the, the way that we are using the green electricity to power those processes. Um, so, and, and the real benefit of that is that it enables us to construct more renewable energy on the network and co-located next to electrolyzers. The more renewable energy we produce, the greater the potential to produce green hydrogen at an industrial scale, which can then be used from everything from producing green ammonia to storing energy. In terms of the end use, green ammonia gives the ability to replace fossil fuel sources of ammonia in particular, particularly for fertilizers. So what can be done is the hydrogen can be used to produce the ammonia, it can be shipped wherever it, it needs to be shipped to, and then you can take the hydrogen back out of the ammonia at a later time. So it, from a business case perspective, it, it, it's great because it's transportable, um, you know, and, and not just within a country, from country to country on ships. Have surplus solar during the day or surplus wind over electric demand at windy times take that, convert it into uh, green hydrogen, and then when you need the electricity again, the green hydrogen can be converted back to electricity, hopefully through fuel cells. Hydrogen fuel cells can also power cars, ships, and even planes as we build the electric grid of the future. And new techniques are developing to harness the industrial power of hydrogen like HERO. <clears throat> the HERO technology utilizes hydrogen and oxygen gas combines them in the presence of our hero catalyst and produces vast amounts of usable heat and water is the only other output. By switching to a green hydrogen economy, we can eliminate 830 million metric tons of CO2 that are emitted annually. By 2030, there is an expected rise in demand of 30% in the ammonia, methanol, and chemical industries, and nearly doubling for steel production. Renewable source of hydrogen can transform the landscape for many industries. And so when we look at um, cement manufacturing, paper and pulp manufacturing, uh, steel manufacturing, aluminum manufacturing, all these heavy industries, uh, these are what we call hard to abate sectors where you can't directly use renewables and that's also driving hydrogen. It's about 20% of global emissions. Uh, the nitrogen fertilizer that uh, sustains our agriculture globally, traditionally it's been necessary for steel and, and petrochemical industries. Uh, Green hydrogen can, can directly uh, replace the uh, 
well, can directly replace any of those. In heavy industrial uh, users of natural gas that have the opportunity now to decarbonize and to change their source of energy from natural gas to uh, hydrogen and particularly green hydrogen for their heat processes. And in this decade, the critical investments toward a green hydrogen economy are in the pipeline. It is 23 gigawatts. One, it helps reduce your CO2 footprint. National hydrogen strategy. Billions of dollars are already being spent. Two, it creates jobs. It's 900 million euros. It's now become a national security issue. It's three to five years away. Companies are putting billions of dollars. The countries I would say, just through my knowledge to watch carefully, will be uh, India, Japan, South Korea, parts of Europe, especially Germany, the United States, Australia, uh, also Chile. We believe that the market for green hydrogen is expected to grow to over $4 billion by 2026, uh, growing at a CAGR of close to about 75%. The governments are adopting green hydrogen as a, as a realistic measure to decarbonize their ecosystems. Uh, we, we feel that close to about $400 billion of investments will be pumped into the system in, in the next 10 odd years. The market opportunity that will get unfolded will be close to about $5 billion uh, in the green hydrogen space. It's an intricate balance of energy systems designed to save the planet. And green hydrogen is... The awesome thing about green hydrogen is the opportunities are endless. Green hydrogen is, is part of the energy transition away from fossil fuels to renewables. It gives us the ability to solve climate change. Full stop, period. Just around the corner. To keep tabs on what's around the corner, subscribe below to get notified about new episodes.